Niobicon represents a fundamentally new way of making electrical connections underwater. All other underwater electrical connectors attempt to exclude water from their contacts. Niobicon inverts this paradigm and keeps its contacts immersed. The secret of Niobicon is that the electrical contacts are made from pure niobium. When niobium is in contact with water, it will react very quickly to form a film, a passive film, which completely covers the contact. That film then acts as an insulator. It, although it's only a couple of molecules thick, the film prevents any current from leaving that contact and going into the water. Then when the other half of the connector is mated to it, the uh, contacts scrape against each other. That scrapes off the insulating film. And once the insulating film is removed, you get direct metal, metal contact, and the current can flow through the connector unimpeded with very little resistance. Then when you disconnect the connector, you pull it back apart again, the uh, film instantly reforms. I had started going down a slightly different path towards trying to do something similar to Niobicon. And then I started talking to Harvey, who had done some other work in uh, underwater connectors. And he had been using niobium for a slightly different purpose in his connector, in that it's highly corrosion resistant. We came upon the problem and from a different standpoint. We're looking at uh, resistance to corrosion, and so uh, resistance to electrical flow is secondary. I had remembered how tantalum capacitors worked, and that niobium and tantalum are very similar to each other. And in fact, uh, niobium was used to make capacitors at one time, or still is actually. So I asked Harvey if he had any scrap niobium, and he said yes. Uh, the combination of having uh, corrosion electrochemists such as myself with a very practical uh, person such as Jim uh, just was a combination that you hadn't seen in the industry before and that's how we came up with the concept. Went and made this horrible little kludge of a connector and we tried it and it worked out very well. We submitted a Spark project request and we made our first real connector about two years ago and then it's blossomed from there. And now we're marketing this, getting ready to license it. Uh, multiple patents have been issued and there are more in process. It's a very exciting thing for an engineer to get to do this and see something from birth to success. <laughs>